What up? This is another sort of quick video. I'm just gonna make this one real quick because I got some time. I have pretty much no plan for this video. We're gonna add in a new network down here which we're going to use in later videos. But like I said, I really didn't think about this too much so we're just gonna throw some shit in here, make a network topology and talk a little bit about what we can do with it later. So the plan here, I'm gonna add two layer three switches here which is going to connect to these routers and this is going to be for our new kind of big so let's, let's just say a business internet or network down here that's going to be connected to two more layer 3 switches and we're going to have a few let's just say we're going to have five access switches down here and then we're going to have a bunch of hosts and we'll segment this into different departments and whatnot but let's uh, let's go ahead and add that in there and then talk a little bit about it. So I'm going to use the 3560 layer 3 switches here. I'm just going to place the two here. Two more here. And I'm going to use 2960s as our access switches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now beyond these, I'm going to add a few hosts. Let's go with two per switch. Switch 5, 2, switch 6, 2, switch 7, switch 8, switch 9. I'll also rename these, but I'm not going to make you watch me do it. I'll do that between this video and the next video. Now, I'm not going to use auto cable on these. I kind of want a little bit of control. So, we're going to go fast ethernet 24 on here to fast ethernet 01. I don't know why I just used a crossover cable there. We need a straight through. 24, 24 to 1, 0. Now I'll start using crossovers. We're going to go, um, hmm, let's go gig 1 down, gig 1, and gig 1 down to gig 1, and we'll do gig 2 to gig 2 between these two switches. We'll also do gig 2 to gig 2 here. Now, let's just set up some extra redundancy. 1 to 2 to 2, and 1 to 2. I don't know why I did 1 to 2. It's probably a little bit obvious that I have absolutely no plan for this. I'm just going straight head first at it. Okay, and we'll do 3 to 24. 4 to 24, 5, 24. So obviously all the access switches are going to have their links on port 24. And we're going to make this redundant, doing the same thing over on this switch, except to port 23 on our access switches. Now if you've read the Cisco books, you probably know that this looks like a very standard topology is what you'll see in a lot of books. And we'll just cable our hosts to 1 and 2 on each of these switches. By the way, if you don't care about any of this, you can probably just go to the next video because really all I'm going to be doing is talking. Probably should have warned you earlier. Boom. Alright. It's all done, and we're going to make our pretty... We're going to go with boxes this time. We'll do this really shitty looking color down here for access. And this baby blue shit for this. Move that over. Okay, so this is going to be our new network we're probably going to play with for the next few videos. So what we've got, like I said, if you've read many books, you probably realize what this is, the uh, three-layer uh, network hierarchy with our core layer, distribution layer, and our access layer. So how we're going to set this up, 
And these are just some topics I'm going to cover in some later videos. I'm probably getting in a little bit over my head here, but I thought it would be cool to set this up and just talk about some stuff that we can do here. I have no idea which I'm going to do first, probably VLANs and trunking in the next main video I do. But we've got, we've got this setup here where we can do a little bit of HSRP, have a redundant default gateways. We're also going to take a look at spanning tree and how it... Uh, goes through the network here as you can see some of these ports are amber this is spanning tree working so we'll be looking at things like the root bridge probably configuring the sky or the sky is our root we're probably going to split up spanning tree uh, with hsrp so that a lot of our vlans will go to here primarily and the other half will go over here just kind of split the load a little bit and we're also going to have some a lot of different VLANs off of the switch. We're probably gonna have a different VLAN for each host actually. And then all of these obviously are gonna be trunk ports. Up here we'll probably we'll probably do interface VLANs and some routing here. All of these ports probably set these up as a layer three and just have routing going between all of these links here. But, like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. These ports are obviously just going to be straight, no switch port routing. Uh, obviously here we're going to be looking at some ether channels, setting up port channels, going over uh, LACP, PACP, all of that kind of shit. Probably missing something. Um, we're also going to be doing one of these guys, I don't know who it's going to be. Could be you, could be you, could be you. One of them is going to be a management console, and what we'll do from that is we're going to configure a probably a management VLAN management network of some sort to where we can remotely manage all of our devices, and we'll even take that past this network and probably set these up. We'll also go over some just basic switch setup because I realize that I've made what eight videos now and I haven't even gone over how to set up a switch or a router with some basic configs so we'll be doing like uh, VTY console passwords setting some host names you know that boring ass shit that if you already knew how to do that that's awesome and you probably don't want to sit through another video of that so I'll warn everybody well before I get into that video just say hey if, if you know this then don't pay attention uh, we will probably Eventually we're going to be setting up like an NTP server, having all of our devices pull NTP and direct them to a syslog server somewhere. We'll probably end up making another, this might be our management network, I might throw some hosts in over here and some servers for this network. Um, ooh, actually, ooh, big one, big one here. I'm, before the next video I'm going to add some phones in line here, some IP phones, so that later we can uh, probably in this little management server ordeal over here we can put in a call manager and actually uh, set up uh, VoIP connectivity. And of course when I do that I'm going to have to give some of these guys some phones so that we can do um, dial peers for those where one call manager can communicate with another call manager in another network and vice versa. So. I'm sure I'm leaving a bunch of stuff out. I had a lot of topics I wanted to cover written down, such as, I don't know, VPNs, tunnels, the cable and DSL internet connections. Those are all probably going to come later. VPNs, I might be able to throw one in here somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe we can set up one of these routers or throw in another router, or I, I don't know, I don't fucking know, but we'll do something to where this network can maybe connect to another network somewhere way down here. Might throw a VPN router here to where if we want a direct connection over to our other site to use their shit, we can VPN through here and go over. But this video was just bullshit, basically. Setting up this thing and talking about what we can do later. Hopefully uh, you're excited, because uh, I know I am. Woo! Just kidding, really. I don't know why I like doing this, but hope you enjoyed this video a little bit. A little bit of a break. 
I'll come back later with some actually useful information. But thanks for watching.